Hey gang, Scott here. So this video, I'm not really sure if I have a point to make, but I did want to talk about uh, color and adjusting color in photos. Maybe a month ago or so, I did a video about doing uh, using color range masks to get depth in your landscape photos. And recently, I've also been using point color, which is another tool in Lightroom to uh, to target specific colors. Or you know, if you're uh, an on one user, you have the, the color adjustment filter versus something that uh, is broader like vibrance or saturation or things like that or color range masks for that matter and and so what um, what I want to share here is like just some some work that I was doing with point color and then was struggling a little bit and said well maybe I should try a color range mask to see if that's giving me a different result and uh, then you know talk about well which one makes sense is there a time to use one versus the other uh, let's just dive in here so I'll use Lightroom to uh, show this here, and you can see on the right hand side, I, I have the color mixer tool open, I'm using the point color area, and I've adjusted several different color ranges, you know, quick before and after. You know, before all of that, you know, the blues are dull, the oranges are dull, the greens are you know, a little bright and, and admittedly washed out. This wasn't necessarily the best time of day to take the photo, but uh, it's when I was there. And then after. And things are richer. And as I look at the photo, I'm like, okay, I want the I want the greens to be darker and deeper. And said, okay, well, I, I have this green selection, right? If I visualize that range, this is what I'm targeting. I can see that. Well, what if I take the luminance down? I'll use these snapshots to uh, to show you the differences here. You know where I did this with the point color, and I'll highlight that, and you can see the difference, right? The luminance went all the way down to you know the you know negative 60 or so forth, you know versus the initial work, a lot brighter. And okay, that's working pretty well. Well, um, it's working pretty well, but it's still not quite what I wanted. So I went back to the top, said, okay, well, what about a color range? Let me open up the masks here, right? And you can see that is disabled. If I do a color range instead. And what's the color range doing? Let's highlight that mask. We have the color range. It's relatively small, and I'm darkening uh, significantly, you know, half a stop. You know, again, to compare before versus after. Now that got nice and rich. Well, then, what's the difference? You know, what's um, you know, was there was there a change here? And um, I guess the uh, the answer really lies in looking at color range versus point color. So right now we're looking at color range and I'll just hover for these. I'm going to hover over point color. See it's a little brighter. A little darker. A little brighter, a little like, you know, somewhat washed out. And there's limits on what I can do with point color because what I have available with point color is saturation, hue, luminance for those colors. Um, I have other things with the color range. Exposure, shadows, highlights, midtones. You can start to play with a lot more sliders there. And for a global adjustment like this, I'm not sure if it truly matters. Could I, for example, get into that point color adjustment that we had down here and continue to fiddle and say, well, maybe I need to take it even darker. And that would get closer to what I had done with that exposure. Yeah, maybe. Um, but then what if I wanted to deepen even like the deeper shadows here? Well, you know, now I'm like, okay, let's try to find another color range. That's too dark. I can't choose that one. And I end up with this color has already been sampled. I, I end up with some limits. Uh, so color ranges still have a, a place and they can be you know you know you work with them visually like you work with masks and you have more sliders to work with and like i said at the beginning i don't know if i have a point here they both have their place but in the end which one's going to get you to the photo you want faster if you find yourself struggling with point color try using a color range it may give you a little bit of a, a different latitude. There's probably some different math behind how uh, you know Adobe or uh, On One or whomever is uh, figuring out how to create those ranges, and you know get the photo that you want. So uh, if you are wrestling with 
point color or wrestling with color range, try the other one and you may get the results you want faster. Uh, that's it for the video. Any questions, go ahead and drop them below. Until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.